Has there ever been life on Mars? It's a question that has challenged scientists since the 1890s. The eccentric and wealthy Percival Lowell pointed his powerful telescopes at the red planet and claimed to see man-made canals. A flood of alien fantasy followed and persisted into the 1970s. The Viking 1 and 2 spacecrafts landed on Mars in the late 60s and early 70s in pursuit of evidence that life had once existed here. Viking images provided the first glimpses of what looked like riverbanks. Tall mountains loomed higher than Everest on a planet a third the size of Earth, and polar ice caps locked up oceans of water. But Vikings' probes proved only that Mars is a cold world ravaged by violent dust storms. Questions remained. Did the spacecrafts miss vital clues to a past some four billion years old? Did life gain a foothold when the planet was warmer and wet? Since the Viking mission, scientists have learned that the most primitive of life forms on Earth thrive in boiling hot springs. Photographs suggest that hot springs like these in Yellowstone National Park were once common on Mars. And Martian meteorites contain minerals typically found near hot springs on Earth. A new era of Mars exploration is about to begin, and scientists like NASA paleontologist Jack Farmer can't wait. Here on the edge of this hot spring, we have a place where microorganisms, bacteria, are being turned to fossils before our very eyes, the kind of fossils we'd like to look for on Mars. The waters are also loaded with dissolved minerals, and as the water cools, particularly in shallow areas, the minerals come out of solution and coat the organisms and entomb them while they're still alive, producing sort of mummies, if you will. We need to go back to Mars and, and we need to look for these kinds of places because these are, these are the environments where that fossil record is likely to be preserved and, and this will help us answer the question about life on Mars. The search for signs of life on other worlds grows more scientifically sophisticated each year. And still, evidence persists that we just may find it on Mars. An answer to one of astronomy's most insistent questions may be just around the corner. <laughs>